Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute autumnal bucket hats. I have three different designs to show you. Firstly being this cute embroidered mushroom bucket hat. And then I have this autumnal leaf bucket hat. And then finally, this cute fluffy scrap yarn bucket hat. All of these hats are super beginner friendly and even the embroidery is beginner friendly. So even if you have absolutely no idea how to sew, this is perfect for you. Let's get into the tutorial. And if you would like to see more of my videos, then please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so for this project, I am going to be doing the main part of the hat with this white acrylic double knit yarn. I've got about 120 grams of this and depending on the hat size that you're making, you may need more or you may need less. I'm going to be making the size that fits me and this is completely customizable. And then these are some of the extra colors that I'm going to be making for the kind of patchwork design, which I'm going to embroider on. Obviously you can use any colors you want and I'm going to be putting up the rough design that I'm going to make up on the screen. So you can kind of switch about the colors if you want to. But these are just some of the colours I'm using. So I've got this mint green, um, darker brown, khaki green and red. And then I'm also going to be using the same white yarn for the mushroom stem and the spots. And I am actually going to be cutting the strands of this and kind of separating it so that it's a lot more finer because I still want the fluffy texture of the yarn and I don't want to use embroidery thread. I want something that's a little bit in between. So I'm going to be cutting long strands and separating the strands that are twisted. For the second bucket hat, I've used this double knit acrylic red yarn. Again, I've used about 120 grams of this. Obviously I've already made it. It's the same pattern as all of the others I'm going to be using. And then for the extra colors for the leaves, I've got this double knit acrylic burnt orange color, a kind of burnt orange brown color. So it's just slightly darker than this one. And then I've also got this dark brown um, double knit acrylic yarn as well. Now moving on to the final design, which is going to be kind of a multi-textured scrap yarn um, design, is I'm going to be using this, again, multi-textured double knit yarn. It's got a variety of kind of strands of yarn. So I've got probably about 100 grams of this. However, I'm also going to be using up some of this scrap kind of, I don't know, it's like a twisted sort of burnt orange, yellow mustard type yarn um, I've only got a little bit of this left and then I may possibly use some of this orange color as well if I need to I do think that this yarn has been discontinued and from my research the sort of similar types that you can get are from hobby so the most similar that I've been able to find is the hobby universe glitter yarn in specifically the color magnitude and um, that's kind of the most similar one that I can find However, you can just sort of type in variegated multicolored yarn and then you could also just buy a variety of textures. So you could buy fluffy yarn, you could buy glitter yarn and then just kind of combine them and switch colors wherever you want. So for my hook, I'm going to be using a 2.5 millimeter hook for the most part. Um, however, for my multi-textured yarn, I've got kind of a, a few thicker strands of the fluffy yarn. So if I need to size up, I've got my 3.5 millimeter hook and that's just going to keep it a little bit more even. If I was to use a smaller hook with the fluffier, thicker pieces, it might start to curl and bend and you don't really want that. I've also got a very, very fine um, sewing needle. This one has quite a large eye, but it's also thin enough to use embroidery thread. So I think this is the perfect size needle to use when I'm making my embroidered, um, style patchwork part for the mushroom hat and you're also going to be needing a stitch marker so just as a reminder all of the patterns for this hat are the exact same so you can just follow the exact same pattern for all three designs so i'm going to be taking my main color in this um, pattern i'm going to be using the white and i'm going to take my 2.5 millimeter hook and i'm going to make a slip knot and then i'm going to make a chain of four so one two, three, four, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from the hook, like that. So you should have a ring like this, and when you separate the ring, there should be a hole in the middle that you can crochet into. 
So I'm going to make six single crochets into the center. So I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through those two loops. And I'm going to make sure that I crochet over this tail right here. So I'm going to do six single crochets in total. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to place my stitch marker in that six single crochet. And that's just going to mark the end of the round. And then you just want to tug on the tail to bring the hole in. And if it doesn't close fully, you can continue to weave it into your other stitches for the following round until the hole does close. So for my second round, I'm going to make two single crochets into each stitch. So I'm going to find that first stitch of the round, loop the tail over, and then just make two single crochets into that stitch. So that's one, and that's two. Into the next stitch, I'm going to do the exact same thing, two single crochets. That's one, and that's two. And then I'm just going to repeat that all the way around and I'll have 12 stitches in the round. So for my third round, I'm going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochets into the second stitch and I'm going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So I'm just going to make my single crochet into the first stitch and then into the second stitch, two single crochets. And I'm just going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So you should now have 18 stitches in the round. And then for round four, I'm going to make one single crochet into the first two stitches and then two single crochets into the third stitch. So it's going to be two single crochets, so that's one, and that's two, and then into the third stitch I'll make an increase, so that's just two single crochets in one stitch. And I'm going to repeat that sequence all the way around. Okay, and then for round five I'm going to make three single crochets and then an increase into the fourth stitch. So that will give me 30 stitches in total once I have repeated that all the way around. So one single crochet into the first three stitches, and then into the third stitch, I'm going to make two single crochets or an increase. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around and then I will have 30 stitches in my round. So now I'm going to just basically be going up one stitch every round. So for my next round after this one, I will do four single crochets and an increase and repeat. Then five single crochets and an increase and repeat. Six single crochets, increase and repeat. And I'm going to do that all the way up until I do 15 single crochets and an increase, which will give me 102 stitches. So I'm going to do that now off camera and then I will come back once I have finished that round. So that is going to be round 17. So I will come back once I've finished round 17 and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so I've just completed the 17th round and at this point, if you want to do more rounds to make the top of the hat wider and fit over your head, then you can do that. So your next round would be 16 single crochets and then an increase and then repeat that. But for my next round, which is going to be round 18, all the way up to round 42, I'm just going to be doing one single crochet into each stitch. So there's no increases, it's literally just rounds and rounds and rounds of single crochet. So it's nice and simple. And once I've done my 40 second round, that should kind of reach just below my eyebrows. Again, if you want to do more rounds of single crochet to make the hat longer, then you can do that. It's pretty much customizable to any size. So I will come back for round 43, um, where we are going to be making the brim of the hat. Okay, so I've just finished my 40 second round and now I'm going to move on to the brim part of the hat which is just basically going to be a series of rounds where we increase. So for my next round, I'm going to make five single crochets and then an increase.
And then into the sixth stitch, I'm going to make my increase. So two single crochets. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then into the sixth stitch, I'm going to make two single crochets. And then I'm going to repeat that for the rest of the round. And then for round 44, I'm going to make six single crochets and then an increase. For round 45, I will make seven single crochets and an increase. And then for my final round, which is round 46, I will make eight single crochets and an increase. So by the end of round 46, you should have kind of like a curled up sort of brim bucket hat. Okay, so I've just finished my bucket hat and once I have finished my final round, I just chained one and fastened off. So this is what it should be looking like. And now I'm going to show you how we make the kind of patchwork design with our mushroom um, pattern. So I'm going to have on screen the rough pattern I'm going to make. And I'm basically just going to be creating a very small image of the same pattern on this small piece of um, crocheted, like a crochet rectangle. So I basically just chained 17 and then I single crocheted into each stitch all the way across. So I've got 16 stitches in the row and then I did 10 rows in total. So it's literally just a plain kind of panel. Um, and if you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can. And if you do not want to use um, the yarn that I'm going to be using, then you can also use embroidery thread if you want to be a bit more precise. So once you have done your short little panel, then you just want to cut a long string because we're going to be sewing this to the bucket hat later on. Um, this is basically going to be like our canvas for the picture. So I'm going to basically be making an outline of everything in the image. So the mushrooms, the acorn, that type of thing. And obviously you can adjust and add things to the image if you want to, but this is just kind of like a basic um, idea. So I've got a long string of the yarn and I'm just going to cut it. And because this is quite a thick yarn to use for sewing on this particular panel, I'm actually going to be splitting up the threads on this long string. Okay, so as you can see, I've got these much finer threads. So I'm just gonna place one of them on my sewing needle and I'm just gonna put the other ones to the side. And I'm just going to basically be marking out the shape of the base of the mushroom. So that's like the stem. But I'm going to make a longer and taller mushroom in the center. And then to the left, I'm going to make a smaller mushroom. So I'm just going to use this kind of second row as the baseline for where the grass is going to be. So I'm going to do everything above that. And I'm just going to kind of sketch out the base of the taller mushroom with my yarn. Um, with kind of a back stitch. So I'm just basically making small dotted lines. Okay, so I've just done a very small kind of outline sketch of the base of both of these mushrooms. And now I'm just going to do a kind of baseline sketch of the bottom part of the top of the mushroom. So that's kind of the underneath of the mushroom, which I'm gonna do in like a lightish brown.
Okay, so this is the final design that I ended up doing. So I basically just filled in all of the spaces that I drew out with the yarn. And I've created this really cute, whimsical kind of design. So now that I've finished it, I'm literally just going to sew the rectangle kind of patch onto uh, the place where I want it to sit on the hat. Okay, so for my red hat, I'm going to be doing the leaf design. So I'm going to be making three different leaves. Firstly, I'm going to be making a maple. Firstly, I'm going to be making a maple leaf. So I'm going to grab my burnt orange colour and I'm just going to make a slip knot. And I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to slip stitch into that fourth chain. like that and then I'm going to make six single crochets into my ring one two three four five six and I'm just going to pull on that tail to close the ring and add my stitch marker into that sixth single crochet for my second round, I'm just going to make two single crochets into each stitch, which is going to bring my stitches up to 12. Okay, so for my third round, this is where we're going to be actually doing all of the leaves. So I'm going to start off with my first leaf, which is the large leaf right at the top. So I'm going to start off with a half double crochet, a double crochet and a treble crochet into my next stitch. So half double crochet, and then a double crochet in the same stitch. And then a treble crochet. Okay, so once you have done those three stitches, we're then going to chain two and then we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, like that. And then we're going to do what we just did in reverse, so a treble crochet, a double crochet and a half double crochet. And then we are going to be slip stitching into the following stitch, like that. Okay, so that's our first top leaf done. Into the next stitch, which is actually the third stitch of this round, we're going to be repeating the exact same thing we did on this top leaf. So into the next stitch, I'm going to do half double crochet, double crochet and treble crochet. So half double crochet, double crochet and treble crochet and then I'm going to chain two and slip stitch into the second chain and then I'm going to do the reverse so treble crochet double crochet and then half double crochet so starting with a treble crochet and then a double crochet and a half double crochet. And remember you want to do all of those stitches in that same stitch. And then I'm going to do my bottom two leaves. So into the next stitch, I am going to make a single crochet, a half double crochet and a double crochet. So into the next stitch, single crochet, half double crochet and a double crochet. Then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to make a single crochet into that second chain, so rather than a slip stitch. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing in reverse, so a double crochet, 
half double crochet and then a single crochet. So double crochet, half double crochet, and then a single crochet. Like that. And then I'm going to do the stalk, which is just at the bottom of the leaf. So I'm going to slip stitch into my next stitch. And then I'm going to chain six. If you want to do a longer stalk, you can do more chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to just slip stitch down the chain. So I'm going into the second chain from the hook and making a slip stitch. And then into each chain all the way down. So that is five slip stitches in total and then you want to slip stitch back into that stitch on the actual leaf like that and that's going to just connect everything together then we're going to do our second bottom leaf so we're going to do our single crochet half double crochet and double crochet into the next stitch so single crochet half double crochet and a double crochet and then you want to chain two and single crochet into that second chain and then again do the reverse you want to double crochet half double crochet and single crochet in that same stitch so double crochet half double crochet and a single crochet we're now going to make our final leaf, which is the left leaf. If you're right-handed, this is the right leaf. And we are going to be firstly starting off with a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we are going to make a half double crochet, double crochet and a treble crochet in the same stitch. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. And then we're going to do the reverse, so treble crochet, double crochet and half double crochet. Okay, so finally you want to skip the next three stitches and slip stitch into that final stitch. Okay. And then you can just fasten off and you can then sew your leaf to the hat. For the next leaf I'm going to be making a sort of medium sized leaf and this is just going to be a kind of normal teardrop shape. So I'm going to start off with my dark brown yarn and I'm going to chain eight. Okay, And then we are going to be making a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook make your slip stitch and then a single crochet into the next chain and then a half double crochet into the next chain and then a double crochet into the next chain a half double crochet into the next chain A single crochet into the next chain and then a slip stitch into that last chain like that. We're then going to be chaining three, one, two, three, and then you just want to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and the third chain. So slip stitch and then slip stitch again. Okay, we're going to then repeat exactly what we did on the first side onto the second side so we're going to be going into these other loops on the opposite side and I'm going to be starting off with a slip stitch into my first chain. Okay so then I'm going to just do the exact same thing on the top part of this leaf on the opposite side. So I'm going to be starting off with a single crochet into my next chain so I'm just going to find that next chain kind of pull it up and then I'm going to make my slip stitch 
and then I'm going to just loop over this end into the work for the following stitches. So into the next chain, I'm just going to make a single crochet, looping over that end, and just make your single crochet. And then into the next chain, I'm going to make a half double crochet. And then into the following chain, I'm going to make a double crochet. Into the next chain, a half double crochet. Into the next chain, a single crochet. And then into the final chain, a slip stitch. Like that. So then you just want to fasten off and then you can sew the leaf to your hat. So here I am just making a small size leaf and for this I just chained six and then I slip stitched into the second chain from the hook. I then did a single crochet into the next chain, a half double crochet into the following chain, a single crochet into the next chain and then a slip stitch into the final chain. And then I just tilted the work onto the other side and did the exact same thing on the opposite side to fill in those gaps. So here are the final results of all three bucket hats. I thought it went without saying that for the scrap yarn bucket hat it is literally the exact same pattern as all of the others except you just want to chop and change where you want each colour to go so you would just change colours every so often and make sure that you're kind of switching it up enough so that you can really see those textures and that's pretty much all you have to do for that design. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up and i will see you all in the next tutorial bye guys